Round one, fight! I love my toys. Round two, fight! <laughs> Hello everyone, and welcome back to another Mortal Kombat 11 Augment Build video. And today I'll be going over my Cassie Cage Augment Build surrounding the, her ability, the Control BLB 118 ability that she has in her arsenal. So this ability is not really used, and that's because it's not really that great, because it has such a long time to start up, and it's a very bad zoning move compared to her amazing other zoning moves she has in her arsenal. However, it is a very unique move, and I do like using it just because it's just fun in general, right? And video games are meant to be fun. And the reason why I'm doing a Cassie Cage build is because if you didn't go check out my video yesterday going over which character am I in Mortal Kombat 11, I actually got Cassie Cage for some reason. So uh, I decided to make a Cassie Cage build today. So uh, let's just go ahead and stop, uh, hop right into the uh, Augment build. Of course, you know, do the, the like button, you know, hit the like button and subscribe button. All those other great things you can do down below. You probably all know the whole drill by now, but let's just go ahead and hop right in, right? So the first two augments I've equipped are going to be the defensive part of this build, and defense is going to be amazing for this build as you are focusing on a zoning move, which does leave you open to a lots of forms of attack. And this is going to be a level 3 armor clad and a level 3 pumped up. So level 3 armor clad gives you 3 hits of rechargeable armor. And basically what rechargeable armor does is it allows you to be able to tank hits without getting hit out of whatever move you're trying to do. It also prevents you from being comboed while you have your armor activated. So this is going to be amazing, especially with the BLB 118, because if you don't know why you have your BLB 118 out, you are, um, you know, you're definitely available to get hit. And if you do get hit, it cancels your move out. So you definitely want to make sure that you have armor clad equipped. Next one to be a level three pumped up. So this gives us 750 more health. The reason why this is going to be helpful is if you are fighting something that like a boss tower or an enemy that has more health, you're going to want to be able to have something that gives you more health so you can have an edge over your opponent. Next is going to be damage dealing augments. So this is going to be a level three death, death dealer, which increases your damage by 15%. It's just an overall increase. Next is going to be a level four bill of health. So this makes you deal 50% more damage while you are at full health. And if you are using this correctly, where basically you you get them at a you get them at a zone, you know you hit them back with uh, this little combo you saw me doing. You can do that by hitting X Y B and then zone them a little bit and then use your BLB 118 to kind of finish them off at that zone. And you should be able to stay at full health. Next one to be a level 3 special delivery, so this increases all of our special attacks by 30%. Next is going to be a level 4 shields up. So this one is just one of the personal favorites of mine, as it does give you a 20% increase to all your damage while your defensive gauge is full, and I hardly ever use my defensive gauge. For the Jinsei arguments, I have a level 3 take a knee. This is really good because I the other ability I use is knee capping to kind of get them at a distance, as it is an amazing zoning move. Next one to be a level 4 remote control, so this makes you control... Uh, BLB 118 200% longer, which obviously this build is focusing on BLB 118. So having this is going to be helpful. Next, going to be a level four bubble trouble. So it increases the radius of BLB bitch and bubble by 100%. I don't know if this works on BLB control BLB 118, but if it doesn't, feel free to put on something um, that just increases like uh, her protection, like cage energy or something like family business. For the ability use, I use control BLB 118 and knee capping. For AI behavior, I use a very zoning build, and this is 20 combos, 15 reversal, and 25 zoning. So uh, yeah, that's my Augment build. If any recommendations, make sure to leave those down in the comment section down below and do my best to respond to you. If I can, I can guarantee you something amazing community will. And perhaps you should consider joining the amazing community as I do post here every single day of the week. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I hope you can see you guys in the next one. Peace. Round one, fight. Take this. Round two, fight. Brutality. Somebody 
gonna clean this up? Cassie Cage wins. Flawless victory. Thank you. 